Morning. I swear a lot. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the therapy campaign. So, obviously, the War of the Dwarfs has kicked off in full force. You know, we've managed to kick Bron Grombrindle out of Cathay, which is very helpful. That will help us a lot in the long run. We are dealing with Clan Angrind. Motherfucking Karagazorna right here. And, uh, let's see. Ah, oh, yes, lest I forget, the Slayer Dwarfs are up here. Yes, yes, yes. And then, of course, there was this lot down here. Who, ah, you know, Alice is actually doing pretty decent against him. By that, I mean he's still alive. That's something. Speaking of which, they might need another outpost. I might want to set them up with another outpost. We should probably do that real quick. Attain. We'll put one in Ashridge Mountain. There we go. It occurs to me that Aquitaine doesn't actually have one. Maybe I should help them. Who are Aquitaine actually at war with? I would like to help them deal with Celestra because she is a pain. Also occurs to me that Grombrindle, oh, not Grombrindle, Ironbrow's expedition are at the Tower of Gorgoth, which means they're in the area as well, which means I'm going to have to deal with them too. Um, Aquitaine, are you all the dwarfs? Like, fuck you are, no. Yes, ready. She is at war with Crackadrack, all right, Rapunz. May the lady bless us Baby all, darling. <laughs> I can't do anything negotiatory with you right now, but we'll get there. I need to be friends with her. I need to help her take down Crackerjack, and I need to be friends with her so that if she takes Crackerjack, I get credit for it. That's important. Okay, I don't need to build an outpost in Aquitaine right now, though, because they're not fighting anyone I'm interested in fighting in, but... I mean, getting positive relations with more factions would actually be a good shout, because it will make the dwarfs more likely to declare war on them. I actually get along really well with Karas Karak, but we're at war. If you want to fight the dwarfs, yeah, I'll help you fight the dwarfs, totally. How much money would that be? Two grand, not wonderful, but sure. Ariel's will. Yes, very good. Okay, we have more friends to help us, and they're wood elves. How are the wood elves? Do they own a tree? No. What armies are they even fielding? The <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, good luck with that, I suppose. Okay, <laughs> cool. All right. This is the more, most pressing issue at the moment, though. I believe we can win this, and I have a strategy. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, a whole fucking strategy for making it happen. You see, they have a lot have of no units, and it is a bit Not of a problem. Likely. But all of our single entities are far superior to their single entities. Yeah. Tancred is very good, for example. He's missing an enchanted item. Can we get him? It's like, yeah, a healing potion or a talisman of... In no, that's a talisman. Never mind, I'm a fool. Uh, yeah. A healing potion will probably do the trick. But I have a plan. You see, you can attack and then retreat. And then if you've got enough movement, just attack again. So I'm going to do that, basically, and just use Tancred and his um, his trusty paladin, Zalol and Paul, as battering rams to make these dwarfs go away. The lady wills it. A decisive defeat, you say? Don't be so eager to put, make such statements. I can't stop them from controlling large armies, but I gotta be honest with you, I don't think it matters that much anyway. We have Tancred, we have the Paladins, we have the Green Knight, and we have Ocean de Bois, who can heal us. This doesn't look very good, and that's because it isn't, frankly. But... I'm not necessarily planning on beating them here. Not in this battle. I'm planning on doing as much damage as I can in this battle and then attacking again. But we need to keep our army safe. Alternatively, if I manage to um, break Morgrim's army before the rest of their reinforcements arrive, that would count as victory. Not sure if that's necessarily what I want to do, though. I do want them all to come here and I want to kill them all. That's kind of the plan. They don't have artillery, they don't have many ranged units. Tancred is very, very good in combat. And he's unbreakable, which means when army losses is inflicted, he doesn't care. Even if he's in the air, you know, when the game's like, all, all your units are in the air, you must land and fight or you'll lose. Tancred doesn't give a shit. Tancred ain't fucking bothered. Tancred's like, don't waste my time with that shit. Not interested. We'll move these guys back because they're all a bit fragile and they need some healing. We'll have to get them some healing. Everyone else, and I mean everyone, the entire army that we're fielding can fuck off behind that mountain. They are not involved in this. Not even a little bit. It's pretty much just going to be Tancred for most of it. Slay the 
the paladins and the green knights will get involved when healing can arrive. Until then, Tancred can have his potion heal himself. These guys will chill. You guys seriously just fuck off over there. If the enemy gets to them, I'm having them run off the battlefield. They do not need to be a part of this. I don't plan on having them take any damage. What I will do as a minor, very minor thing, right, is I'll actually set them up in such a way that if for whatever reason the enemy got close without me realizing, they'll land a few pot shots. That'd be pretty cool. Tank crits in combat. Hit them. The quarrelers need to go first because they're a problem. After the quarrelers, I want you to kill Morgrim because fuck their leaders. Not literally, figuratively. Actually, fuck it. You've got him right there. Go for him. You do a fuck ton of damage. You're anti infantry. Sort him out. All of their forces will suffer a morale penalty if he goes down, and that's a good time. I need to make sure those guys stay behind the mountain as well when they come on the battlefield. I do not want to give the dwarves a chance to hit any of my units other than those I want them to fight. They're likely to go for Tancred because he is such an appealing target. He's our lord, of course. But they might also recognize that attempting to smash their faces against him is not the best decision, and they may, you know, <laughs> walk right past him and hit the army instead. The most likely situation that will occur is that army losses will occur and the Green Knight and Tancred will be the only ones left on the battlefield, on our side. And if that's the case, that's fine. They'll just fight as much as they can and then run away. Do not let Morgrim get away, kill him. Teach them a lesson. Foolish dwarf. Oh yeah, he's dead. Oh, he's fucking dead. Yeah, we killed him. Reinforcements have arrived. Very nice. Okay. New lot aren't going anywhere. You two are. You're all going to gather over here. The Green Knight needs some time to regenerate in the forests. He can do that. If Tancred can dust those guys quickly enough, he might get some time to rest, which would be good because he doesn't have um, perfect vigor, so he gets tired the longer he's in combat, which, you know, can't be perfect. Dude's already pretty fucking incredible. Next, a slow, heals lol, and pull. Did you do it? Yeah, you did it. Okay, cool. But see this, right? Look how pathetic their health is, and their lord has died, and they are still holding. They're still fighting. That one even has decent morale. It's absurd how good their morale is. I want her to back off because I want her to focus on healing this lot. I actually want him to back off too. I only want her healing Slalom Paul because the Green Knight is healing in the trees. It's already happening. It's fine. You guys, uh, no, no, no. Back up the trees with you. How you doing, Tancred? You are murdering them. I should point out, that unit is only running away because it's terrifying. There we go, it's shattered. Good. They will they will likely shatter because they're, um... Yeah, they're, yeah, because their unit number is so low. And that unit has been deleted now. They're gone. They're out. In the light of the woo. The woo. Tancred's just scoring free kills. Oh, if I could get him to go over there and start trashing those quarrel... Oh, just get him right in there. Fuck it. Or better yet, because we're on the attack, they aren't going to press the attack on us yet, because we haven't done enough damage. So give Tancred a moment to rest. Heal these guys up. This is going to be very slow and more than a little bit dull, but this is necessary. I mean, if Joseph Sourscowl is willing to just fucking run ahead on his own, if he manages to get out of range of those quarrelers, Tancred could just jump him. What other lord have they got? Boki Ironbeard. It's another rune lord. I am a rune lord, not some smith. Yeah, I get it. I heard. I know. It's cool. It's fine. What cannons? You don't have any artillery, you fucking wet wipe. Seriously. Get down there and fuck him up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he increased his armor. Pointless. We do armor piercing damage. Kill him. Kill all their lords. Because if we win, even if we lose this battle, right, which we probably will, we're probably going to end up retreating. If we kill all of their lords, then when we next fight them this turn, because we will attack again, 
they won't have any lords to lead their armies, which significantly lowers their overall capabilities. These lords may well have points in their red line, which improves their troops. If they're dead, those troops aren't getting those buffs anymore. Don't get me wrong, they're still getting their fucking research bonuses, and fuck me, are they a problem, but... It's fine. Make sure he dies. I don't want him to leave, I want him dead. And then jump them. Oh, he's nearly gone. Go on, chase the funny dwarf. Oh, his head fell off. All right, kill them. I am with you. Good shit, good shit. Going well. Heels lol. Damn, he does a lot of damage. Now, of course, they're firing at him now, but he does have 25% missile resistance, 5% physical resistance, bringing that up to 30, and then 36 ward save, which means he has a lot of missile resistance, basically. If he gets in trouble, we'll just pull him out and heal him. Yes. How much magic do we have left? Not much. Oh, yeah, munch them if you want. Oh, beautiful. Good stuff. I would love to try and kill Boki, but I understand that that might be a bit much. So the reality I'm seeing that is most likely is that this sort will charge our army because we've done enough damage to them to initiate a charge. And in that case, we'll have to pull all the standard forces out of here because they're not going to do much. They'll just get killed. And once we eventually drive these dwarfs off, we're going to need time to recover. And every bit of damage we take makes that a slower and more painful process. So... Really, our troops aren't going to do much here. It's all about the heroes and lords. As evidenced by Tancred. Fortunately, dwarfs are very slow. It's going to take them a long time to get over there. These are all the heroes, right? Well, if we start sending them over there, they know where our army is and will continue to charge them. We wait until the last possible moment and then get them all to fuck off, and then their entire army has to turn around and come back, at which point we can murder stragglers. Or at the very least, these two units of Quarrelers will be dead. We are gaining balance of power. Like, we're technically winning right now. It's just... We're winning in terms of the effects taking place. In terms of the overall battle, we're obviously losing because we're horrifically outnumbered and outpowered, but... It's a funny situation. I've become very fond of Tancred during the course of this campaign. I think he's an absolute fucking unit. This was such a mess of a campaign to begin with, and this man, this bronzed Adonis of a man on his fucking griffin has brought it back. And now we are one of the preemptive powers in the old world, the new world, and everything else. There are less archers here now. Hit the ones with more archers so that you're not getting shot quite so much. They're literally just going to stay there and do nothing, huh? Oh, they did send some more archers. I see. Very cute. Yeah, because they're shooting Tancred a lot at the moment, and it's no good. So I want you two, actually, to jump them. And Sir Paul is jumping them. Good, good, you've ran them off, kill them. They're still not really reacting properly, which is just great. You love to see it. Now, heal the pair of you. Green Knight, fuck him up. They are going to start sending infantry in mass soon, but we have pretty much wiped out all of their ranged units. Yeah, that's just a ranged hero, and that's minus the blasting charges. Oh, right, there are some quarrelers there. Okay, well, we can actually work with that. You just need to be a little bit smart about it. Heal both of you. Good stuff. Tancred, get back into the air. I want you to kill them. This slot will act as a block to keep the melee infantry in place. Tancred can kill their ranged units, and that makes this army much easier to deal with in the future because all their ranged units will be gone. So as low as hit his regeneration cap, unsurprising because he started the battle with fuck all health. Keep getting in on him. Go for him, Tancred. After you take out those archers, you might even be able to hit their lord and kill him, which would be pretty funny. Oh, you're in comp- Ah, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. Take them. Just be careful, okay? Maybe heal yourself just to make sure. Is she winning? 
She's, it's even. She should be all right. They're only archers. They are sending more, though. Her job is not to get beaten to death by dwarfs, funnily enough. Slol, pull out of there. I need you somewhere else. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Find the gap. There it is. Exploit the gap. Like your goddamn Seven Association Otis. We've got one more heal. I'm inclined to use it on Ocean and Tancred. Tancred is the most useful person on the battlefield right now, bar none. They're all actually doing pretty fucking well, it must be said. Just jump into combat for a moment so you can cast that spell. Delicious. Now, prompt. Actually, tie down those archers while Tancred kills their leader. That's important. 90% of uh, dwarven damage is done at range. Without their ranged units, they struggle a little bit. Now, slayers do make up the fucking uh, the difference there. They really do. They're very dangerous. But without ranged support, they will struggle a little bit. Tancred, focus on him. I want him dead. In the light of the lady. Oh, we got one more healing spell. How generous. How very, very generous. Her job isn't actually to defeat them. It's just to tie them down until Tancred's done with Boki. Go on, kill him. I know you can do it. He's only a rune lord. He's an absolute coward. He's a wimp. He's pathetic. Murder him. Do us all a favor. Don't let him run away, kill him. He's almost dead. I believe that killed him. Yep, he's dead. Cool. Get over there. Ocean, you've done a fa. Oh, these guys are pushing up a little bit. I thought their whole army was over here. I got very optimistic. Didn't realize they were all pushing up here. Keep an eye on this. Their ranged units, oop, their ranged units are up front, which me stop doing that. The ranged units are up front, which means we might be able to get a couple shots in before. Actually, they don't have any ranged units over there. Okay, so yeah, just shoot them a bit and then leave. That'll work. You can buff our uh, the other lords. They are starting to take some damage though. It's worth noting. Oh, the gun is actually in position to land shots from there. Yeah, no, that's a decent position. All right, shoot them. Land as many shots as you can, then the entire army backs off. I'm not playing games. She can hang about, because why not, I guess. She's fast enough she can get away in any engagement, so they're not going to catch her. Good, these guys get to inflict some free damage. On longbeards, no less. They're quite tough. They're all fighting, and they're doing quite well, honestly. Tancred hit his regeneration cap, which is just as well because, you know... Oh my god, there's more fucking archers. It's just as well because he can't heal anymore anyway. Oh yeah, scoring some good kills. Now, would it be better if they were shooting at, say, them instead of longbeards with shields? Yes, but I'm not particularly worried about how much damage these guys are actually going to do. More worried about them just doing something, but more importantly, getting off of the battlefield the moment they get close. They're starting to get quite close. Yeah, it's time to leave. Let's not take any risks. If that prox army losses, I don't care. Make sure you guys are running off the battlefield in the right direction, aren't you? Yeah, good. Okay. You can never trust them. You can never trust your troops to do things intelligently. You just can't. We still haven't killed those Coralists. I'm guessing you got stuck in and didn't and just sort of forgot about it. It's all right. I do that too sometimes in life. Just get stuck in and I forget. 
Obviously, the balance of power just shifted dramatically, but the fact of the matter is this battle has been a huge gain for us. We have killed so many dwarfs and suffered no losses. Our heroes will take some losses, sure, some damage, sure, but they were damaged at the start of this battle. Make sure they leave. I don't want there to be any more ranged units in their army. See that? Tankard was literally right on them and they immediately rallied with eight entities left, now six. But that's how ridiculous Dwarven morale is. They don't back off. The rest of their army is now filtering in. I'd like Tancred to go take care of Dramar Hammerfist because it's another ranged unit and I'd just rather they didn't have it. There we go. That's dealt with them. All right. I want you to fly overhead to these guys so you can give them a stand your ground bonus. My gifts are yours. You're trying to snipe her, aren't you? Uh, fuck off. I probably should have kept the knights on the field, actually, because I could have used them for some... Um, Oh, I forgot to do the thing. I could have used them for some hit and run tactics, but I didn't want to have to micromanage too much. And I, if I fucked it up, they would have just died and I would have lost my knights. It would have been sad. Now, these guys have melee defense boosts, so they'll fight better for a little while. 77 kills, 72 kills, 125 kills. And our ranged units, before I ordered them all to retreat, did manage to inflict some damage. A unit of longbeards suffered. It's all good. It's all good stuff. Also, we killed all their lords, so they don't have any lords anymore, which means the next time we fight this, and we will have to fight this again, I imagine, the next time we do, it'll be easier. Make sure you kill him. Targeting their ancestral heroes would be a good idea. There's big balance of power in them, and also their units that won't ever retreat because they're unbreakable. So killing them, it's just a big blow to them, really. And he's keeping an eye on these guys. Lol is really starting to feel the pressure, so I need to get him out of there. I can't use him in the next battle if he gets wounded. Like, I mean, actually, his health goes to zero and becomes temporarily unavailable. Not that he's lost health. Go on, take him out. One more swing. One more swing that connects. There we go, good stuff. Go get Throny next, and then Halkenhuff, who will be a bit tough, actually, but you'll get him. I would like to try and knock out those Slayers if possible. I'd like to get rid of all- oh, there's more Slayers. I'd like to get rid of all of their unbreakable units for future engagements. But yeah, most armies, especially when you take their ranged units away, struggle to deal with single entities, and you can use that to your advantage. Also, you don't have to approach every battle thinking you have to win that battle in order to win. I know it sounds weird, but the war is everything. Not the battle, the war. This is a beneficial battle. This benefits the war, even though we're going to lose. It might be difficult to get those guys out of there, actually, and I might want to start thinking about that soon. You are absolutely trashing Throny, and that's great. They are well and truly sandwiched in there, and more dwarfs are on the way. Might need to bring Tancred in to help them get out. I respect your vigor there, um, Tancred, but the support first, hey? Put this back to your lady. The end of the battle is nigh. Go on, take down Throny. Go on, take him out. Take him out. Take him out. Just land the hit, goddamn. Please, please land the hit. There we go. Okay. We might have to leave Halkenoff for a bit because the situation is getting a little more desperate. Come on, lads. You're almost out. You're almost out. You're almost out. Doing great. Doing great. Doing great. 
Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Take the ground. Hastily. Bretonia needs. Slow's kinda getting swallowed up by the zombies horde of dwarfs. So many beards, he just can't break through. You back off because you can actually heal a bit more, so I am gonna make use of you. Come on, Slow, you can get out. I believe in you. Come on, buddy. I know you're just desperate to throw a dwarf. Absolutely chuck him. There'll be more time for that later. What's going on here? In fact, he's surrounded by slayers is not ideal. Come on, Slow, out you come. Take five. Take five. Come on, you're nearly out. Come on. I know they're really small and annoying. Come on. Come on, you're out, you're out, you're out. There we go. I'm going to pull them two out. Green Knight, go get to the trees. Tancridge, you're not doing great. It might be time to depart. You two back off. Done fantastically. 120 and 113 kills apiece. You may as well leave because army losses doesn't matter anymore. You, it is actually time to depart. You've taken enough damage. And the Green Knight, I'm going to see if I can get a few more kills out of him. Because he can heal in the trees. Fuck it, wipe out those slayers. Start with them. It's another unit that they lose. Fucking body. <laughs> Oh my god, he just went right through them. It was fucking wonderful. Off you go, buddy. We're done. A valiant defeat that will lead to a victory. Because we lost nothing, and they lost <laughs> nearly a thousand. Like, eight, over 800. And they lost all three of their lords. It will count as a loss on Tancred's record, which will affect some of his traits, and he might lose an item as a result, and that will suck. But winning the battle, the war, the overall conflict, I think, will be more important. Oh, we lost the Talisman of Preservation. Oh, that hurts. But no one even got it because all the laws are dead. Don't give me that shit. Ugh, whatever. It's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, he fears dwarfs now. He needs to beat dwarfs in order to not have that trait anymore. It's fine. Leadership doesn't even matter to him because he's fucking unbreakable. But it is annoying that we're getting negative traits. Understandable, but irritating. So, what would a logical human being do in this circumstance? Uh, jump right back in there and fight them again. Yes, correct. Yes, that is what we're going to do. Yeah. Yeah, that is, in fact, it. Kill them! Now it's a valiant defeat, which for all intents and purposes may well just be a victory because they're not going to be able to stop us. I will have to fight it, obviously, but looking pretty good. We slew more dwarfs last battle than they have in this battle. We've got it. Losing the Talisman of Preservation was very fucking painful, though. We did not need to lose that. <laughs> that, that was a problem. I will fully acknowledge that that was like the one thing I was hoping we didn't lose, and we did in fact lose it. Unfortunate, truly. But it is the way of things, isn't it? It's just how it went. Not a lot I can do about it. Except for try and get it back, I suppose, but we won't get it back now. Kill them, may as well. We won't end the battle when they die, there's no point. We've got more, we've got bigger designs on this battle than, uh, you know, just killing some garrison units or whatever the fuck they are. They're not garrison units, but I know what I mean. The remnants of one army. Nah, we can do better than this. Plus, this will give Tancred a chance to rest once he's killed them. Await reinforcements. We ain't done. Okay, now what are our options? That looks pretty manageable. Although there is Halkanoff there. You should be alright. You guys, I, I respect your valor, but that's not what you're doing. You're staying up here. Except for those archers who are going over here just in case they manage to sneak around and then get the shit shot out of them. This is what I mean when I've talked previously about manually resolving battles so you can minimize casualties, but this also lends itself to a discussion about making sure you inflict as much damage as you can in any situation, because if you've got a long and rather 
difficult war ahead of you than every incremental gain that you achieve through just killing another unit or damaging another unit or doing everything you can to fuck with the enemy will pay off in the long run. It will. It can allow you to eventually, if you're on a losing streak and things are really getting bad, it allows you to eventually scrape out a victory, which you can then use to turn things around. There may be a lot of this in the nearby future because we've got a lot of dwarfs to fight, but you know, one thing at a time, hey. We're being flanked! I've got nothing left! Did any of their- oh yes, some of their quarrelers survived. We'll have to kill them because, I don't know, I just take issue with them personally. I don't like the way they use crossbows on my troops, okay? It bothers me. As much as we'll want to take time to rest, we're also going to want to take this opportunity to press the advantage, because if we can kick Clan Angrand out of these mountains, the amount of... the frequency with which we'll have to deal with them will diminish by, like, hundreds of percentages, because they'll be on the other side of the planet. We just need to lower the amount of enemies we're fighting at any given time. Now, Tancred is suffering a bit. He's doing all right, but this is not a sure thing, and I shouldn't treat it as such. If their army gets weakened enough, however, by our heroes attacking them, then we might be able to win by uh, using our army. Green Knight's ready to go. Send him to help Tancred. Throw down one more spell, and then I actually want all these guys heading down there as well, because Tancred's going to need healing, and we have limited magic. There we go. Get moving. He needs some help. He's reached his regen cap, but there's still plenty he can heal. There we go. Army losses. Thank fuck for that. Now we're going to have to fight them again because they're going to retreat, but now we can actually start mopping them up. Decisive victory, that's more like it. And it'll be those from now on. No losses, their armies have been fucking battered, and now we start to turn it around. Hopefully we don't have to do that too much from now on, because boy, that takes a while. <laughs> but this is the problem I was predicting way early on when I was like, our tech tree just isn't advancing, our unit tree isn't advancing. We're not getting higher tier units. The best units we had were Knights of the Realm, which are, like I said, very good, but not enough. We need better units. We want to be fielding fucking Grail Knights and Grail Guardians soon. That's what we want to be doing, if not already doing that. And we're not. We don't have those. We just don't have them. And that's a big problem. Because even their basic tier units are heavily upgraded, thanks to the maxing out of their research tree. And every single dwarf faction has spawned with at least, I'm pretty sure it's more than this, but at least three full stacks of elite dwarven units with those bonuses. It's bad. <laughs> it's really bad. It's why we need to push these dwarven clans who already existed in the area we're in out so that we're not dealing with them as well as everything else we'll quickly mop them up it should take but a moment and then as much as i would love to have these two armies just fucking chill for a minute they need to start pushing through these they need to start taking them there is much to do and precious precious amount of time to do it in i'm gonna fight that manually real quick because i need a favorable result i can't afford to take casualties or take too much damage to my lords. And honest, honestly, if I could heal everyone at the end of the battle, that'd be great too. I have to be a little bit gamey about this because... I mean, look what we're up against, man. A lot of the... stuff added to, um, to Warhammer 3 over the past few months or even the past year does kind of... has kind of been added with the knowledge that players do kind of game the system a little bit. Which isn't saying that you have to. You certainly fucking don't. And if you're good enough... You really don't have to, but it can be very helpful to do so, and there's a reason why you should. Not should, but in terms of, oh, you have to, but should as in, it would be a good idea to do so. Once again, you don't fucking have to. Good, all of our lords and heroes are now fully healed. 
until we can get a proper army behind us again, these guys will be our main driving force in any battle. The units, the army, as it were, are literally just there to provide balance of power. They're not really there to contribute at the moment. It is lords and heroes. And that is what will carry us for the foreseeable future until we can get some more. But it will take Clan Angrind a while to raise a decent army in this region again. They've got their big decent armies down at Zaraxar. That's fine. Good for them. They can stay right the fuck over there. We just need to clear them out of here. This will also boost our economy, which means we can fill bigger armies and more armies. My hope is that we can perhaps fight the dwarfs with overwhelming numbers. That's pretty much my best strategy by this point. And really good heroes. I'm enjoying it very much. 61 gold. Oh, wow. God, this will fix our economy. Pigeon Plucker Pendant. Wow, that's a good replacement for the Talisman of Preservation. Oh. But Ocean de Bois did get Savior, which will help her. That's very good. Now Dwarven Dread instead of Dwarven Fear, which is good. Or Fear of Dwarfs. I don't think you can have both, can you? Can you? Yeah, you can. You can have Fear's Dwarf and... <laughs> that's so weird. Okay, but that's still a net profit, so that's fine. That works out. It's okay. Um, that Power Stone... Yeah, she's equipped with it. Good. That'll increase our winds of magic, which will help. Yeah, there's nothing to recruit in this region. Which is unfortunate. It means these armies can't get any bigger for the moment. And the I replenishment in this region is so pathetic Taking that our armies lead. basically aren't getting any bigger Sorceress. anyway. But we have no choice, really, but yours. to push the attack regardless. We I cannot let order. them raise another army. It would take us too long to yes. raise an army in return. Blessing we need to hit the them now, destroy them now, push them as much of them out as we can now. Our lords can do it. They're very good. Unfortunately, these two are going to have to advance on the Vale of Titans very fucking slowly because there's be so. corrupting influences Stay in the far. area. Ah, oh, fuck. Stop that. Ah. Oh. Oh, that's no good. What is your behest? They got here too soon. Ah, that's a bother. Okay. You know. Going by what our allies can see, I can't see any Karakadrin forces in this area, so we should probably push up and try and take some of it. Striking out! Do you know who I am? My strength and wisdom are yours. I do think that these Lord three armies could put up a decent fight. I don't know how decent a fight, but a decent fight. I'm down here, not doing much, because I need to head up there and deal with that. Yes, I do. Yeah, I need to go help with Angrind. Very important. Nezra doesn't need to come with me because we have a life prophetess in that army over there, and I have a dam life damsel with me as well. So what she can do instead is start building an army. There's nothing to recruit here, but that's fine. Is what we do. We get a bunch of archers. As many as we can. And some peasants. And then go into allied recruitment and see what we can find. Just get a bunch of Hellfire, Hellstorm rocket batteries. Anti-infantry with armor piercing. And use those to inflict as much damage as we can. Blessings of the lady be upon you. Gaspard still needs to return home because uh, he got fucked up. Like, really fucked Defender up. Harrier de Bois' army is still forming. Man. You should sit in the settlement the because experience. Noble son of Britannia. The yard, man. My lady, honor me. Unfortunately, we can't afford to get him more questing knights this turn, so we might want to do some allied recruitment to fill out his ranks. Every army has moved. We've basically spent all our money. Oh, Giovanni Lebeau. Get in there. I will lead by example. That army is almost finished. But getting them where they need to go is going to take a while, so there's that. You know, uh, it is what it is. It's fine. Okay, well, we managed to fend off Clan Angrid for now. That's good. That's a start. That's literally a start. That is the bare minimum that we should be doing. And it was a great fucking effort. Now, we need to push back. Now, there is at least one Dwarven army in the area. I think it's Karagazorn. I don't know. They've all got weird names. I can't tell. But it is a problem. Because that's an elite army. That's one that was spawned by the Endgame Crisis. So dealing with it is going to be a bit of a bother. Little bit of a bother. Just a teeny bit of a problem. A schmeckle of a concern, if you will. Help us out, bruv. You want me to join the war against the drowned? 
What if you joined the war against, like, any of the dwarfs? Any of them. Like... What would it take to get you to join that? A lot. I'm guessing if I joined the war against Solastri, you would not be willing to do that. Yeah, funny enough, you wouldn't. So, no. I'm not fighting a war on your part if you're not going to fight a war on my part. Ah, uh, hello. Oh, you have lightning strike. Fuck, I wish you didn't have that. Luckily, he couldn't follow up, so then I will attack him next turn with both armies. I'll work out. Would have lost the blessing of the lady for retreating, but that's not so bad. Campaign movement range, campaign line of sight, that's great. Boost man! No one cares. Except maybe I should. Where were they? I don't know, it didn't tell me. Okay, I should need to scan my land to see if the fucking beastmen have shown up around here. Not that I can see, I think we're alright. Xeno would have suffered some attrition, but he suffered some attrition too. Oh, ogres? Oh, rebels, I see. Okay. Well, these two's primary fucking objective is to take out Skaldor Normgrindling, because uh, he's a problem. Another valiant defeat, but we have two armies now instead of just one. We do have Hellstorm rocket batteries. Unfortunately, we also have an army of damaged peasants. You know, it swings in roundabouts. What's the battlefield looking like? Very, very, very fucking standard and basic. When Lori arrives, that will bring yet more peasants. Also some outriders and a celestial lion. And the celestial lion could be useful. 91 melee defense. A peasant would never touch a fucking iron breaker. And the iron breakers also have explosives. We can't let the Iron Breakers get to the front lines. We cannot. At least not without being horrifically mangled. The Iron Breakers need to be horrifically mangled. Or we're in trouble. But we need to hit them. We cannot just sit back and hope they go away. And there is no more favorable position to fight them other than perhaps Shang Yang. But... A, it wouldn't add much. And B, if we lost there, we would lose Shang Yang. We'll fight them at Shang Yang if we have to. <laughs> he also wants to push forward and take the Veil of Titans. We do want to do that. I do have a plan, but it's scary and I don't know how well it will work. And that potential plan is to have Xeno just get into there and blob them up and then have the Hellstorm rocket batteries clear them out. I don't know if they'll fall for that though. And they do have Thunderers. You have 16% ward save, which is very nice, but I'm not sure how much it'll do for you. Standing by. Battle ready. Fire at them. Fire at them. Should probably take care of those gyrocopters, honestly. Some damage was done. Don't know how much, but some. Of course, we are suffering artillery as well. They are shooting us too. Hellstorm rocket battery. Still want you to shoot them. They're just moving a little faster than I'd like them to in terms of getting to our line, you know? Considering there are a bunch of dwarfs. We fight for Charge, keep them away from the lines. We're not ready for them to get here yet. Taken them down very good. Go deal with them. Yes, 
Really, you guys should probably focus on their rangers. Unsurprisingly, the peasants are routing. This surprises no one. I was really hoping our reinforcements would have arrived before now. I was hoping we'd last long enough. No. Guys should probably fall back if they take the fucking artillery, then so be it. Use this as a defensive point. Like it. You get over there and take care of their artillery. You start sniping some of these fuckers and kill them. These guys have done surprisingly well, honestly. By that, I mean they're still there. That's what surprises me. Probably go over there and make sure Zeno's okay. You mostly hit peasants. I fucking love it when you do that. Except I don't. Please shoot the dwarfs instead. Got to hold him in place. You heal Zeno, please. And then hit them. Go around that way. Can you shoot the shit out of their lord? If he dies, that would help us immensely. You guys rally back over here. There's no point staying in combat anymore. Move around there. Alright, archers, you should probably actually, like, you know, <laughs> make a formation of some kind. I don't know. Just a thought. Don't know how long they're going to last, but they're going to have to try. You need to keep chasing them. You've almost killed them. Kill yourself, you're looking a little peaky. You can hit the back of their line, that'd be very helpful. You're going to need to go over there and help, because I imagine our lines are going to fall apart very soon. Good, good, good. That fucked with them. Very nice. Oh, a bunch of their units are coming over here. Oh, I see. Did you kill the... It looks like you killed the cannons. Help Lori kill them. She's kind of struggling with it a little bit. Oh, the cannons just pushed up. Cool, they've been knocked off their guns. We don't even have to fight them anymore. If we even win this, it will be extremely costly. <laughs> I guess we knew that going in, didn't we? You should really focus on those... Actually, focus on them. Fucking hell. Considering we're likely to lose this front, if you can kill their lord, that'll do so much for us. You guys should run because there's no point getting killed. God help us! Oh, you're all on fucking uh, uh, skirmish mode, aren't you? Ah, oh, could have really done without that. Shoot him.
He's almost gone. Just shoot him a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Oh, boy. How are you guys doing? You're all right. Okay, good. You can get down there and inflict some more kills. Oh god, Laurie's retreating. Fuck, that's no good. Why is it taking you guys so long to just kill them? These are ranged units who can barely defend themselves. Kill those fucking... Oh, oh, oh. I hate the dwarf in Endgame Crisis. It's so fucking annoying. Do not let him live. I swear to god. Kill him now. Zeno, they shouldn't be able to even touch you. They are fucking ranged units. Kill them. You need to heal yourself. The Lord is still alive. Fire on him. I want him dead. Fuck it, fire over there, actually. We can't afford the friendly fire. You're getting fucked up, I've noticed. Just keep them tied up. You shoot him. Are you guys even like, are you just in a shit position and you're just hitting the hill? Because you could have moved up a little closer if that was the situation. I wouldn't have minded. Oh my god, he finally took out those fucking Iron Drakes. Wow, good job. It only took you a million years. Ready for war. Kill Skaldor. Only chance we have of them fleeing. You distract them. You retreat further up the fucking mountain because they've just got your number now, I suppose. God, I thought his health had just gone down to zero. I was wondering what the fuck happened there. Celestial Lion, really, you should have killed that fucking dying Drake a while ago. Why haven't you done it? Archers, I implore you, kill him. Oh, god damn it. You need to cast your spells as quickly as you can. Get your chuckles in while you can. Come on, come on, come on. Celestial Lion, please, I implore you. Do a roar. Make them run away. Don't waste your time with miners anymore. You get over there and help. Laurie's barely hanging in there. Thank god she's immortal. You guys are in melee combat. I wish you weren't. I really wish you weren't. Curse me for not believing in fucking skirmish mode. It causes more problems than it solves. You get down there and kill them. Don't let them. Don't let them. Just don't let them. Okay? Just don't. No more Iron Drakes. In my Bretonian kingdom, there will be no Iron Drakes. Because they are cringe. They're not cringe, they're fucking amazing units. But when I have to fight them, they are cringe. Our steeds are restless. Attack! My gifts are yours! Armor in faith! Now I know it might be tempting to leave the job half finished, but no, kill them. Actually. Really thinking about it. You two should go kill Skalder. You should. You probably should. You need to keep out of it because 
God, I can't afford to have you fucking get wounded. You guys got caught again. God. Oh, 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 oh. Charge them and keep moving. Similar cavalry tactics as before, but with much shitter cavalry. Luckily, you guys fire on the charge. God, that's actually really good. Come on, you got grenaded and charged. Surely you should just break. Watch them not break and kill that entire unit of fucking grenadiers. Okay, cool. They, they shattered. All right, we're done with them. Kill him. Kill him now. Not in a minute. Not when you feel like it. Not tomorrow. Not the next day. Ow. This might be a situation where a tactical retreat is wise. But if that is the case, we need to kill Skaldor first. There we go. Jump them while they're sad. You go over there and provide magic support. We want to time that. It's leadership minus eight. It does cause terror. Oh, actually, maybe. You could use that. If they get terrified, they can score some free hits. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. You just... You just jerk them around. Just move them around the battlefield while we clean up some of their units. If we do it this way, we might be able to win. I don't know. Anything's possible. Uh -huh. My god. This is the problem with fielding peasant craps tacks, is that they just don't fight very well. I see much. Okay, can you just get them to fucking slow down? We want to finish these guys first. It did fuck all damage, it wasn't meant to, it was meant to slow them down. These two need time to kill their units. The Celestial Lion is uh, suffering a bit. I reckon we're probably on our way out of this battle, but if we are, let's crunch some of their fucking units first. They got onto them. Oh, they have got onto them. Fuck. God, they're so quick. Oh, yeah, because they're slayers. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I really should have considered that. That might have done it for these two. Don't let them rally. Don't let them rally. Don't let them rally. Kill them. Keep chasing them. You help chase them. Cool, they're gone. Quickly. Make sure they go. Get one last shot on those uh, slayers. Do some damage. And then I think it might be time to pull out of here because we're not going to gain much by attempting to uh, fight them. I don't think. Might be able to pick off some units, but I don't know. One last shot. That did good. I killed quite a few of them. Now they want to go in melee and I say no fucking way, not a chance. See, I'm not sure if the same tactics will work here as, did, as they did against Clan Angrind, because while Zeno is pretty strong, he's not quite Tancred's level. 
I'm not sure he can do quite the same amount of damage that Tancred did before eventually succumbing to, uh, to numbers. The main difference, honestly, was that Griffin. That Griffin is a huge difference, and um, Zeno's on a Pegasus because he hasn't unlocked his Griffin yet. Y'all have done a bang-up job, honestly. Like, solid effort all around. Go down there and cast one last spell to just do some damage. But I reckon it's time to pull out. I emphasize the fact, and every player who's even worth half their salt knows that this is the case, but the biggest issue is we just don't have widely available access to good units. Don't get me wrong, my tactics could be better. I'm not going to sit here and be like, my tactics are perfect, it's just my shitty units that are making me lose. No, of course not. Like, I'm... There are many things I could do better, I'm sure, but the fact that we don't have access to our proper unit pool is definitely hurting us. Like, it is causing problems. I knew this was going to be the case. This is part of the challenge of the campaign. I ain't fucking bothered. But it is a thing. I'm not sure that even really did any damage. But you know what? It was something. There's nothing you can cast for three wins, is there? No. Okay, we're out. Enough's enough. Solid effort, lads. Off you go. Unlike uh, Tancred, of course, there are no units in this army that have Unbreakable. So if army losses is inflicted, army losses is inflicted. Like, the battle is over. We have mangled their army, though. They've taken a lot of damage. Unfortunately, they still have two, both their units of Iron Breakers. Which are going to be very awkward to deal with in any circumstance. These two might have to retreat towards Shangyang. They might have to do that. Luckily, it was our turn, so we can just turn around and fuck off. And start replenishing. They may have taken so much damage that they abandoned the attack, which will be good for the purposes of defending our land, that's great. But unfortunately, it also means that this front has not progressed. We have not- we, no, we did not achieve our objective, which was to take the Veil of Titans. Which means Angrind continues to gain an, uh, an opportunity to get back on their feet, which we really just don't want. We really don't want them to get back on their feet. We really don't. It was tough enough dealing with them the first time. At least we wounded Skaldor. That's something. In the grand scheme of things, they gain no experience for this battle. We do gain experience. I think we lost... Yeah, we lost... Oh, they gained one. I don't think they stole it from us. I think they just got it. It's not bad, but it's not good. It's not brilliant either. It's not It's not a game changer, I should say. Ah, Zeno got body counter. <laughs> cool. That makes him stronger. Now, the good news is he shouldn't be able to reach us if we get down there. So we should be able to just run away. Honestly, if Scross Tooth Order manages to take the Veil of Titans... That would solve some of our problems. I'd rather have ogres there than uh, dwarfs. I'll make an alliance with them. Fuck it. Do you know and if not, well, the ogres will probably be easier to defeat. So. Time to back off. We have met before. You guys did well. You did all right. You'll start replenishing your units, which is lovely. And we can start getting some allied recruitment going so we can actually have some units. And they can be shit units. I don't care what they are. As long as it's something. We clear them out of this southern area. If we can take uh, Karakazorn stuff, that'd be great, but that might be a bit much, but we'll work on it. Anything we can take now will help. This is going to be a long protracted war, I think. Any hope of actually having a quick resolution to this, I think, has been thoroughly dashed. It's not going to happen. This is going to be long, drawn out, painful, lots of deaths. You know, a Warhammer war. Maybe, maybe, maybe my good friend Volkmar will do something to save us. Maybe. Now, I'd like to hit the Great Hall of Greasers first because it has gold, but we need to hit Grimtop so that that Lord doesn't recruit any more units. You're going to want me to go to War of Solostra, aren't you? I tell you what, right? Yeah, I'll make you an offer. Fight Clan Angrind. I mean, it's not entirely opposed to it. But now, there's a possibility here, right? Give them that. Have them go up against Clan Angrind and actually attack them. Formally, officially, 100% fight Clan Angrind. That will lower Dreitra's reputation with the rest of the Dwarven factions and should lead to more wars. And we're not getting really anything out of the Moorgate, so fuck it. Go for it. We need to start pushing our allies into these wars. We can't fight, like, seven Dwarven factions alone. We just can't. There are too many and our troops are not good enough. Ashridge Mountains has changed up. Oh, right, Attain. I thought it meant Safari for a minute. I was like, why? Why? Why did that happen? <laughs> okay. Yeah, because they're at war with the bloody hands as well. So, Attain has been officially forced off of this landmass. Their stuff is now 
I thought they were... Okay, well, they're not there. They're, I think, down here. Yeah, they're down here. Okay, fine, whatever. They're still at war with dwarfs. So, we need to do a bit of diplomacy, I think, to start getting people to go against the dwarfs. I want to do that because I need to get friendly enough with the Chevalier de Leoness so that when the if and when they defeat Krakadrak, we can make use of that win to help us win the campaign. But Safari, for example. Safari are doing great work. They're actually attacking Dark Elves right now, which is life. lovely. What is your request? Did you start fighting Karakadrin for me? They're actually way up for it. Strange. That might be easier. Okay. All right. Well, how about Karakadrin and Karakazorn? Yeah, that requires a little bit more from you. Okay. Well, how about the Foundry of Bones? Oh, you'd like to have that, wouldn't you? Yes. Well, pay me and fight those two. I agree. Let's get this war going. Everyone could cease Grand fucking around. Canist. And actually help me, we might win this. Celestial General, you greetings. listen. I see that you're not way into that, but what if I gave you something? What about Dai Sheng? Oh, you'd be way into that, huh? Why don't you join a few more wars then, right? Karakazorn and Karakadrin. Oh, you're still okay, right? Well, let's see what we can get out of you then. Yes, and you'd pay us. Do it. I am glad. We have all this territory. We're not necessarily using all of it. Let's use it to get some friends in these battles. I don't need all of Cathay. Enjoy, enjoy Dai Sheng. I hope you like it. Now help me fight these fucking dwarfs. Tancred, you have some troops. Very this well, is lovely. Did you take me of course, they just got a bunch of slayers. Go so. attack Rimtop. A valiant defeat. Strike Honestly, I'm surprised it was that generous. Must really recognize how tough the tanker it is. You. The lady is with you. Attack! That'll be a Pyrrhic victory where we lose multiple units. That, unfortunately, is not an option. We cannot accept that. The war is in too dire a state for us to be able to accept losses on that level. The good news is, is we can kind of be like little bitches about this because um, our lords are doing well. Our lords and heroes are doing great. You guys just hide over there for now. If we need you, we'll call for you. And I might need them actually. I might need some range support. But with Oceana and the Green Knight, I reckon we'll be okay. Priority targets are the Quarrelers. Kill the Quarrelers. Make the Quarrelers die. I should probably put Slol on a fucking Pegasus, to be honest. It's too late now, but I should keep that in mind. This is the true power of Bretonia, though. Definitely its lords. Not necessarily its units. Although its units can be very good. They can, but its lords are very good. It's kind of weird. It's kind of like the uh, the Vampire Coast, where um, you know, Vampire Coast units can be very good, very strong, uh, but their lords can sometimes solo armies. Like they get ridiculously strong. I wonder if I could position these guys over here, to pick off that unit of slayers. There's enough ranged units. They have fuck all armor. Surely. So you're gonna try and close the gap and stop the Green Knight from getting in there? I don't fucking think so. He's on a horse and you're not. Get stuffed. Losers. They're probably gonna go for Ocean, most likely. So we're gonna have to move her around a little bit, but it's okay. Tancred's currently taking the most damage because he's being shot and he's fighting Slayers, so do that. And you know what? Maybe a bit of that as well. Maybe just a little offensive spell because it makes me feel better. Good. We don't need to kill them all, we just need to win the battle. She's being chased by slayers, that's not surprising. Annoying, but not surprising.
There we go, army losses. All right, fucking hell. Oh, naturally ended up being a lot more difficult than it needed to be. Of course it did. But it's still better than the auto-resolve would have given us, so fuck it. Oh, there's fucking slayers in there, isn't there? Everyone except you go kill them. Oh, I suspect there's going to be a lot of this in our future. Just a lot of hard-fought incremental gains. Yeah. That's a, war with the, that's a fucking endgame crisis with the dwarfs. Misery. <laughs> but we've healed as much as we can. And end, end of turn replenishment will likely sort out the rest. But it's still a victory. It's still a step forward. It still fucks with them. It destroyed one of their field armies. We stopped them from raising an army that could beat us. We're doing okay. It's just that eventually Tancred's gonna have to go up against one of their proper armies with like Iron Drake fucking troll hammer torpedoes and cannons and organ guns and flamethrowers and gyrocopters and iron breakers and oh, it's gonna be a whole thing. Still, this was a win, not a loss, a win. And that's something to be happy about. No spear infantry because dwarfs don't have large units typically, so swordsmen. With shields, silver shields that can deflect many bullets. And buffed by the fact that Tancred buffs his infantry, generally. And I think still has that trait from, um... Yeah, from Volkmar, which improves their melee attack and defense. And you two retreat back to Shangyang and get your affairs in order, because your troops are just... You just don't have enough, and they're not good enough. Ah, There's a dwarven army on the way, and their lord is level 29. <laughs> oh, bother. My strength and wisdom are yours. Do you know who I am? My reputation precedes me. Can the peasant revolt deal with them? That is the question, isn't it? They have flamethrowers, they have slayers. These are two things perfectly designed for cutting through armies of peasants. But we just have so many peasants. Yes? Do you know who I am? I feel like we need to try. Shall be so. Look, the whole point of this was to have large disposable armies, right? That is kind of the point. Out. Guardian, sallying forth. Give it a go. Protect if it doesn't work, the then Going on out. paper we haven't lost much. In reality, we've lost Toddy, Ledouard, and Sir Ragnarok. The three lords I like very much, but on paper. That's technically not much. But in my soul, that's a lot. But it's a war and they have to fight. Otherwise, what's the point in them being here? There's none. They have to fight them. Three peasant armies against one army of dwarfs. Surely we can make it happen. Surely they can do this. Surely they can. There's two of them now. That's too much. <laughs> That's just too much. <laughs> they can't take that. They're gonna have to go back to Granite Spikes. There's no other way. Well, Tancred's army is looking bigger now, if not better. It's actually looking pretty terrible, but it's bigger now. There's more units in it. Isn't that what matters? So, Drycha is quite powerful. I'm thinking, because most of this territory means very little to me. Honestly, most of the territory we're going to come across means very little to me. I'm thinking of just continuously bribing her with uh, territories to go to war with the dwarfs, like all of the dwarf factions. And maybe do this with all of the f of, of our allied factions, just keep bribing them. Sure enough, uh, Angrand lost the Veil of Titans to the dwarfs. That went quite well. I suspect he's probably going for the Shrine of the Alchemists. Blessings of the lady be upon you. You two should probably stop him. <laughs> now, it does say decisive victory, and I believe it. I do. But I can't afford to be taking casualties and damage. Not when we're in an area where we don't replenish very well. Ah, you love to see it. Wait for him to throw the rest and then just drink your health potion. <laughs> Fools. Go on, throw him again. You know you want to. You know you want to. Go on. Do it, you imps. Do it. Do it. Do it, you cowards. Do it for the bit. Go on. Oh, they're not going to do it because they're wimps. Oh, whatever. I reckon with the legendary team up of <laughs> my lord, 
Octane Crid, the Paladins, and the two casters, and the Green Knight, we probably will be okay. In general, honestly. There we go, army losses fucking took ages. You three... Well, there's no two ways about it. You actually just need to run the fuck away. Oh my god, it's actually Ungrim himself. And he has a fuck ton of cannons and Ungrim himself. The only upside there is that he is injured and doesn't have a full stack, but it's really cold comfort. Okay. Granite Spikes does have a solid garrison, though. Nothing else for it. Full retreat. Full retreat. Bail. Bail. This expedition was a horrific idea. Run away. Run away. Everyone run. Run for your lives. <laughs> Just run. We'll meet him in battle at Granite Spikes. And that's it. Are you at war with them now? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. Yeah. Safri's going to get wiped the fuck out. Uh, that's pretty funny. Um, buys us some time at least. No. He's also at war with Blizzard Peak, so he'll probably hit them first. But at least if Safri's helping us, I mean, that's something. We may just have to hold Ungrim here, hold him back at Granite Spikes, until this army can push north through all of this and then sweep through here. Karakadrin are going to be a problem. No two ways about it. But A, we need to put, before we really deal with Karakadrin, I think, we need to push Clan Angrid out of the region so that we're just dealing with what's here and Clan Angrid can be all the way over here. And they can fucking deal with Hagrief, which they are at war with. That's pretty funny. All right, have fun dealing with Hagrief. Jesus, they are surrounded by enemies. Cool. I don't think Clan Angrid will be a problem for very long. And the Chaos Dwarfs! And the whole host of Tsar! Yeah, nah. Yeah, Clan Anger and aren't long for this world. Alright, that's something. There are a lot of hostile factions around here that can probably deal with the dwarfs for me. The problem is I will eventually have to come here and actually take those territories. The fact that the uh, forces of disorder are doing so well is not a good thing <laughs> in the grand scheme of things, but it may serve us for the purposes of this war. We will end up having to fight them all eventually, but for now... We're just dealing with the endgame crisis. And we kind of are. We're getting there. We are running out of money, though. I'm not sure I can actually give away quite as much territory as I want to half the time, because money, mostly the issue is money. We are going to have to invest in our economy just a little bit, though. We can't let that stagnate. Or the war will not go well, because we won't have any money to fight the war with. Did I remember to upgrade uh, Granite Spikes? Yeah, I did. Cool. That's about to happen. Then I plan to upgrade the Guardhouse and get a um, Grail Shrine there so that there are Grail Knight defenders as well. And then that place, place will be as heavily fortified as it can realistically be. In fact, I think the mod I'm using, which tweaks Bretonia, actually gives back their trait of their level 3 minor settlements being walled settlements. So we'll have that, which is pretty good. That'll be a hell of a battle if Ungrim does go over there, though. That'll be a true test no. of our of our peasant rebellion. You know who I am. If they can actually handle it. But that will all be next time, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to end it here for today. It's been nearly three hours. And we've done, like, what, two or three turns? Not many. This war will progress quite slowly because these battles are going to be quite significant. There's a big one rocking up around here. There's going to be a lot of people involved with that one. We're steadily taking control of the Mountains of Morn. It is happening. I reckon we should be able to take the Valley of Horns, should be able to push through there. Then our next goal is Karakazorn, and if we can take that, that's one of the locations we need to take to win the game. And also we'll leave Karakazorn, I think, without any territory, which means they'll eventually die, and that's one less faction to deal with. We take Amble Peak and kick Clan Angrid out of here. Then it's Ironbrow's Expedition and Karakadrin we need to deal with. Nagarond are staying not neutral, they are at war with uh, Karakazorn. But they're not a war with Karakadrin, which is weird, but okay. But I think given the current climate, I'm not sure if Nagrond would be willing to attack us. Then again, it might be in our best interest to actually just blow through their territory and kick them out. Because they're just in the way by this point. For instance, I still want to take the Veil of Titans. I want to turn those ogres out of here. These are all things to consider in the future. Hopefully these guys can kill Solostra quick enough and then they might 
consider being at war with, like, you know, any of these problems. Welcome to Fair Britonia. I would really now love it if Akatane the... would help me out. Can I smell the lady? Rapons is indirectly helping me out, which is greatly appreciated. Hopefully, Harry de Bois will be successful in taking the Dracula Spire. They don't appear to own much else around here. It's probably because he's not. A oh no, he's at war with them. He just hasn't successfully taken any of them. Which means if Harry can get down there, push up through that land, it'll take a while, but you can start doing it. The Dracula Spire is possibly the one place that we probably wouldn't be able to take because of its distance away from us. So if we can take it and fucking hold it down, my plan would be for Harry to take it. Then he would leave and try and hit another one. And we would recruit another Lord here and just get a massive stack of like infantry or whatever to just lock it down. Make it the most defensible place ever. That should be okay. It's a minor settlement, so it's whatever. But it's surrounded by Cathay. Yeah, they're the Dissenter Lords, but... They don't hate us that much. They, they're quite all right with us. That's probably fine. And also, Tory Vress. The of and they, they think we're all right. They're quite keen on us. So I think that'll all be okay. You just got to make it all happen. This all sounds great on paper, but that doesn't mean it'll work out. But I digress and I'm rambling. Thank you so much for watching. This is... This will just be stressful for the foreseeable future, I suppose. But I am enjoying it, and I hope you are too. Special thanks to Lit Potatoes, Proxy, Kamenera, Moa, Heartland, Harak J, Draft, Dresso, Sion Distance, Lol, Final Legend, Etherbin, Linky, Zeon Cedar, Bimblewort, Majoku, My Moon, Alkir, Honeydew Corporation, Sweet Baby Red, Jessicissy, Plutonium Pie, Dreamer Ghost, Leper Lullaby, K Bub, Magical, The Frostbite, Monsoon, Warmaster Oku, SCP 106A, Namad, and Kenny T800 for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much, guys, and thank you all so much for watching. I have no idea when this campaign will actually end. It could be relatively soon, like in a couple episodes ago or so, or it could be a absolute grueling slog as I attempt to conquer most of the planet to claim these different sections. It's hard to say, honestly. It could go either way. Uh, at the moment, I feel committed to actually seeing it to its end, because I feel like I should, but I do not hold myself to that. If it gets too fucking grueling and there's too much back and forth going nowhere and it gets too boring, I may choose to abandon it. But as of right now, I plan to beat this. I do plan to win. God knows whether or not that'll actually happen and if it does or if it doesn't, I hope I see you there. Doodles, goodbye.